Hello everybody, my name is King Lion, and welcome to my 1 in 99 smithing guide. So I'm going to break this down in two different methods, AFK and then the recommended method. There's going to be two locations that we're going to go for in particular as far as smithing and smelting. If you're going to smith, you're going to want to go to the Varrock Bank. If you don't know where this is, it's southwest of the Grand Exchange. The second spot is very close to that location as well. That spot is located east of the Edgeville Bank. Now I also do want to mention that one of the locations that we'll be spending a lot of time at, if you're doing the recommended method, will be at the Blast Furnace. This is by far the best XP and the most efficient way to go about it. It is located in Keldegram and you do have to start the quest, the Giant Dwarf. First off, we will start with the notable quests. The runner up is going to be the Knight Sword. This will grant you 12,725 XP in smithing. You do not need any smithing levels to be able to start this. This will take you from level 1 to 29. The second quest is going to be the Elemental Workshop 1, possibly even 2 if you like to quest. This will take you from level 29 to 32. Now to be able to do Blast Furnace efficiently, you will need three things. You will need GP, you will need gold smithing gauntlets, and you will also need ice gloves. AFK method. You absolutely do not quest. You can make bronze daggers from 1 to 5, bronze kimitars from 5 to 9, bronze warhammers from 9 to 18, bronze plates bodies from 18 to 24. You can make iron warhammers from level 24 to 29. From level 32 to 34, you are going to want to be making iron knives. Now this method can be more expensive at times than others, so make sure to go check the GE prices before you do any of these methods going forward. But in the grand scheme of things, this should break even or at the very least lose you 30k. It's very fast XP and you will gain 25k XP per hour with this method. You will need a total of 300 iron bars to go from level 32 to 34. This method should only take you about 15 minutes to complete. As a quick reminder, with all of these methods, make sure to have weight reducing armor to keep your run energy up as well to make it a lot more effective. From level 34 to 54, we will be doing steel darts. You can usually make some type of profit from doing this method, due to people always needing darts for various reasons. This should make you a profit at the time of recording, about 623k. The amount of steel bars that you will need is 3,484. This method should only take you around 3 to 4 hours to complete. From level 54 to 74, you will want to be making mithril darts. Now this method will also make you a profit during the time of this recording, about 3.8 mil profit. To smith this, you will of course need 18,909 mithril bars. This will take you around 19 to 20 hours to complete. From level 74 to 89, we will be doing adamant darts. You will make a total of 1.7 million GP from doing this method at the time of recording. You will need to make a total of 59,937 to complete this. And this is going to take you a whopping 60 to 67 hours to complete from level 85 to 99. You guessed it. We will be smithing rune dart tips. Now, this will make you a huge, huge loss, unfortunately, somewhere around 511 mil. So this is a super, super big loss, and I highly wouldn't recommend doing it this way, no matter how much you like to AFK. But this should take you around 110 to 125 hours, and you will need to smith around 109,229 rune bars. So quite a bit. Quite a bit, guys. <laughs> Conclusion. For the AFK method, going from level 1 to 99 smithing, it will take you around 200 hours to complete. This method will also net you a loss of about 505 million GP. Next up is going to be the fastest method. Now this is a little bit more straightforward as far as it goes for the leveling. From level 1 to 32, as said before, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you do the quest, the Knight Sword, as well as the Elemental Workshop 1, just because it makes sense, saves time, and a lot less effort. From level 32 to 33, we will be working on Iron Warhammers. We will need a total of 24 Iron Bars with a loss of around 10k and it will take you about two minutes to complete. From level 33 to 39, we will be making iron plates. You will need a total of 620 bars with a loss of 150k GP, and this should only take you around 25 to 40 minutes to complete. From level 39 to 40, we will be making steel war hammers. You will need a total of 102 steel bars with a loss of 45k GP, and this will only take you about 15 minutes to complete. 
From level 40 to 99, we will be making gold bars. Now this method is a little bit different than the previous ones due to it being at the blast furnace. To make gold bars worthwhile and to get the most efficient XP as possible, you're gonna need two things to make it worthwhile. You will need goldsmithing gauntlets as well as ice gloves. To do this, you will need to start the quest The Giant Dwarf to unlock the blast furnace. We will be wanting to go to world 357. This is the home world for the blast furnace to be a little bit more efficient. I would strongly recommend using Rune Light for this. There are two different Rune Light plugins, the Easy Blast Furnace, and there is also the Blast Furnace. The Easy Blast Furnace is a little bit more overpowered. It is in the plugin hub. It is not one that comes standard with it. I would strongly recommend using both to make your life a little bit easier. This plugin will show you exactly when to use a stamp pot, how much GP you have left in the coffer, as well as when and where to switch your gloves. Now you would need to smith a total of 231,268 gold bars. With the gloves, this will take you around 30 to 32 hours to complete. This will also net you a loss of 25.6 million GP, which in all honesty is not that bad for 99 smithing. Now this method is not AFK at all, but in 30 hours, you can have 99 smithing guys. Conclusion. For the fastest method going from 1 to 99 smithing, it will take you around 32 hours to complete. That's super fast for a 99 compared to other skills. This method will only net you a loss of around 27 mil while being pretty efficient with it. So which option are you going to go with? AFK method or the recommended method? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below on which method you guys decide to go with. Or if you guys just want to say hi in the comments below, I'd love that too. Well, congratulations, guys. Hopefully, you have all hit 99 with this guide. I do plan on making a guide for every single skill. Plus, I also make a Scratch to Max series to show you exactly how to max an OSRS, as well as many other things. You have to check out my channel to see exactly what it's all about. But make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell notification so that way you get notified when I post new videos, which is every single week. But with that being said, happy scaping and ciao.